Hey guys, so in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Skype from the Windows 10 App Store. So if we're not counting Skype for business, then there are two versions of Skype and both are different when it comes to the layout. So there's the Skype from the Windows 10 App Store, which is this right here. And then there's Skype Desktop, which can be downloaded from the Skype website. Both have different layouts, but they pretty much do the exact same things. So I actually have a video on how to use Skype desktop. I'll post a card above so you can check that out if you have that version of Skype. So apparently there's one more version of Skype and that's Skype web. So you don't actually need to download Skype. You can access Skype via the web by logging into web.skype.com. So first things first, this right here is the user profile icon. If you click on it, you'll be able to access most of your settings from this panel. So let me walk you through some of the main settings. So first of all, you can change your profile picture by clicking on your icon right here and you should get this small tiny camera logo. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can take a picture from your integrated webcam if you have one, or if you wanted to upload a picture from your PC, you can click on these three, bar, three uh, dots right here, horizontal dots, and then you can choose a picture from your PC. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to upload, let's upload this one right here. And you have the option of zooming in, just giving you guys an idea. And let's go ahead and click on save. And now that should be our profile picture as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and click on back into there. You have mood, status, mobile number. So these three things right here, you can change the mood. You can type in some useless information if you want somebody to know your mood if you want somebody to know your status so you can set on do not disturb and you'll get this red dot right here by your name you can set yourself on invisible so nobody will see that you're online or you can set your you can set yourself on active as well so people will know that you're active and ready to speak so Skype to Skype is free, but if you want to start calling landlines or cell phones, or you want to make long distance phone calls to cell phones or landlines, you will need to add Skype credit. So in order to do that, you would simply click on add Skype credit, and then you'll get some options of how much Skype credit you want to add into your account. So I believe the minimum is 10 or $15. I'm not hundred percent sure, but anyway, you can check that out. So moving down the menu, if we go ahead and click on settings, you have some audio and video settings that you can mess around with. So first of all, you have video, which is basically your webcam. It wants to know the source. So if you have an integrated webcam, you would simply leave it on default device or, ch or choose integrated webcam. If you happen to have a Logitech webcam, you would make sure that's plugged in and then you should see an option there for the Logitech webcam. If you want to test out your video, you would turn this radio button on and then you should see your webcam right here. Now my webcam is currently blurred up as you guys can tell because I do have some tape on it. So moving down the menu, let's see what else we have. We have speakers. So this is the source. This is the audio source where you want the audio to come out from. So I just leave mine on default, but say I was using a headset, I would choose the headset or I would choose um, whichever specific uh, I guess pair of earphones uh, that I want to use, I would choose it within the speaker menu right here. I'm just going to leave it on default device. For the microphone, I like to leave that on uh, my Blue Yeti or select my Blue Yeti if it's not currently on there since my Blue Yeti is a very high quality microphone. So the rest of the settings here I'm not really going to get into since it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, one of the things though that I did want to get into or did want to quickly mention was uh, calling. So allow calls from anyone, you probably want to turn that off. And once you turn it off, it will only allow people on your contact list to call you. So again, you want to leave that off. I'm going to leave mine on. You guys can obviously do whatever you want, but just putting that out there. So let's see, what else do we have here? So choose a mode, so you have light mode, dark mode, so you can essentially turn your Skype into a dark mode. This works really well in if you're working at night and you don't want to strain your eyes too much. So you would switch that to dark mode. Let's switch it back to light. 
but that's pretty much it for this. So now I'm going to get into some of the things that you're going to be using all the time, like video, call, messaging, and all that other stuff. So in order to add a Skype contact, what you're basically going to do is you're going to type in this box right here. You're going to search for them. So for example, if their name is Dave57 at gmail.com, just giving, just throwing out something random, or let's just say Dave57, say I know that this is him, whoever it is I want to add. Basically, I'm going to click on that name, and then I'm going to type a message, and it's going to automatically add it to my contact list. So if I type in something, it's as you can see on the left side, it's going to add their name there, and then they should get a confirmation if they want to accept your message or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this quickly because I don't know this person. I was just giving you guys an example. But that's pretty much how you add somebody on Skype. So once you have your contact added, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So first of all, you have some information up at the top. So you have the gallery. If you have any pictures of them that they sent to you or, you know, stuff like that, then it would be in the gallery. Um, if you want to place a video call, you could click on this icon right here, which is a camera icon. Alternatively, you can hold Control Shift K and it should call them. Now, this person is not currently online because that's, I think that's me. Yeah, that's me. That's another name. It says it's connecting. Maybe my phone is currently connected to that. I don't really know, but let me just hang up. So you have that. Then you can place a regular phone call without a video call. So this is a, this is a regular call without video. As you can see, the video is crossed off over there. And if you wanted to enable video during the con during the regular call conversation, you would simply just click on this icon right here. So let's go ahead and hang that up. So some of the other things that you can do while you're in a chat with somebody else is you can send emojis by clicking on this smiley face right here. And you have a bunch of different pictures that you can send. If you want to send an image, you, you would click on this icon right here and then the file explore, explorer would pop up and you would simply just choose the file you want, to, the image you want to send. Same thing goes with document. If you want to record a video message, you would click on this and your webcam would pop up and you would basically just record the message. And if you want to share a contact, uh, share contact details with your contact, you would simply put a check mark in the box to the person you want to share with and then click on send. So that's pretty much it with that. So some of the things that you can do while you're in a call with somebody else. So I'm currently in a call with my iPhone. So I'm using two different Skype accounts. So first of all, you can share your screens. So if I'm sharing my screen from my desktop, the other party is going to see my screen and because I am sharing it, so they'll be able to see it and they'll be able to see exactly what it is I'm doing and all that, all that, all that good stuff. Now, if I decide I want to share sounds as well, so if I'm listening to music in the background and I want them to hear that too, I would click on share screen and sounds so that they would hear the sounds on my desktop. Uh, let's stop sharing for now. If I want to add people to this call, I would click on that, as you saw before, and I would add any of these contacts that I currently have added, and I would add them into this call, making it a conference Skype call. So let's see, what else do we have here? We can place the call on hold by clicking on that, and now the call is on hold. I can click on this blue button, and that would resume the call. Um, if you wanted to mute the microphone again, you have these, this button right here and the same thing with the video. If you wanted to shut off your video stream, that would essentially shut it off. So we also have device settings. So if you want to change the video source while you're in a conversation, so if you want to switch it to a different webcam, you would simply click on device settings and you click on in the video settings in the, in the scroll down menu, you have some, uh, sources. So I have integrated and then default. If I had some more webcams plugged in, I would definitely see them here. And in order to test the video out, the webcam out to make sure it's working, I would click on that radio button. Mine is currently blurred out because I have a piece of tape on my webcam. As I mentioned earlier, it's due to privacy concerns. Same thing with the speakers. If you want to change the audio source, you would simply click on that and then choose the, the device that's currently connected that you want to use. And then 
same thing goes with the microphone. So if I want to use my headset, I would click on the microphone G941. But since I want to continue using my headset, I would my Blue Yeti, I would just leave that on the Blue Yeti. You also have this uh, emoji button right here. So if you click on this emoji button, you can send video emojis as opposed to text emojis. So the other party would see these uh, in the middle of their screen once they're in the conversation with you. And if you want to text, you would simply click on this text box right here and you can just type in whatever you want and they would receive that. And that's how you would chat as you're having a video call. So some of the other quick settings that you have here with Skype is first of all, you have this bell icon, which will show you some of your notifications that you might have missed. You also have your contact book where the, all your contacts you have that dial pad, which is kind of hard to find. I don't know why they make it so small, but anyway, if you want to dial a cell phone or a landline, you would use this and you have your, um, you have the ability to add Skype credit. If I didn't mention this before, you will need a credit card for this. Otherwise, if you're just doing a Skype to Skype call, you don't need any credit card. It's completely free. And then lastly, you have, uh, you have some settings. You have about this version. Basically, this is just like a quick menu. Instead of going into the profile and scrolling down to settings, you have it right here. So as you can see about this version, I'm currently using Skype 12.1811.248.0. And what else do you have? You have the settings, you have sign out if you want to sign out. And uh, what else do you have? Okay, so if you want to delete a conversation, you would simply right click so again, you right click on the conversation you want to delete and you would just click on delete conversation. If you want to block somebody, you would, again, you would right click as well. We also have the view uh, profile if you want to view their profile. So anyway, yeah, that's, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like I pretty much covered everything here on a very basic level. If you guys feel like I missed anything, let me know in the comments section below, but otherwise that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please do leave a like and I'll catch you on the flip side.